getting all this podcast stuff. Come on. Come with me. Here we go. Robbie, are you ready? Yes, let's do this. I okay, one, two, cool. three, let's go. Okay. It's all ready. <laughs> He's like, what are you fucking doing with this stuff? <laughs> Gonna get Rob Lipset on the Bucci podcast. Bucci cast, Bucci radio. Um, yes, Rob's getting on the podcast. Very excited. I keep telling you guys about the podcast and it's going to be out once my website's out. I will give you guys like the schedule as soon as I possibly can, but I'm gonna interview Rob, so yeah. But what motivates you to keep going at this point? What's your number one motivator? That is an excellent question. I want to impact as many people as I can in the world. Definitely my new ebook. That's something that I've been writing for like a year and I'm super proud of it. Um, my YouTube channel, if you just search Rob Lipset, my name, you'll find me there. You'll find me on Instagram at Rob Lipset. Same with Twitter. Snapchat is Rob Lip. Uh, I'm very easy to find. Keep it real. Woo! That was awesome. That was so good. Well done. Yeah, from Thanks, like, from a third person. Yeah, for, 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 for how, how was that? Good, okay. so good. And I was really interested. Okay. Yeah, I was like very intrigued the whole time. Like there was, I mean like I was listening to you, but it was really good. Yeah, okay, thank I you. I love this. This is like the funnest thing I've ever done. It's, it, I, it really is I like, like yeah. UCC, you're it being massive, being massive. Free. Like I know, especially that you're starting off so strong. Yeah. <laughs> you got a gift card to yeah. Ralph's yeah. and flowers. Y'all have been the best house the guests. They just got us. Also, this. they also got us some yeah, cereal as well. Right <laughs> they just walked in the rain to the grocery store and picked us up some flowers. It's honestly the least we can Grimmel, do. Grimmel, yeah, Grimmel. 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 you guys are the best. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was you. <laughs> yeah, whenever you all come here, like, please stay. We'd like the best I'd be sad if you didn't stick with us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so fun. Just finishing up editing a YouTube video. It's almost done. I just have to do a couple of uh, small things. Um, I'm feeling like I got hit by a bus right now. Um, my training has been just really kicking my ass and I talked to my coach. He said that this is normal to feel like this uh, really close to a meet and I'm overreached in my training. It's kind of supposed to happen because I'm supposed to be getting this type of feeling and then this upcoming week it just means that I'm ready for my deload and then after this upcoming week my meet is on Sunday which is a week from two days from now because today is Friday if that makes any sense. Um, by then I should feel really good to go and strong so I'm just really excited for that to happen because I'm tired and Karen is cleaning out her closet and she gave me this cute sweater that she hasn't worn in a while. I like it. And then I have some shorts on and some socks. Some socks. Black socks. This one's longer. Alright. Good to go. Karen's in her cleaning zone right now. I literally just cleaned out my closets, my drawers, like everything. That's so exciting. Ugh. Bags of clothes to donate Bags and put on Poshmark. Yes. I'm gonna do that when I get home after the gym. But um, I put a little bit of PE Science Select uh, Cafe series in here because I want to get some protein and I don't like, I'm not like really hungry right now and I don't want to put too much in my stomach uh, before I head to the gym. So weird, that's very weird for me, but um, I'm gonna put it in my coffee and drink it. So caffeine and protein and America. How's, uh, how's, how's everything else in, in life going? Um, everything's good. Aside from like this week was just like, I just get really uh, overwhelmed when there's like a lot of people around all the time and everybody's mm. vlogging and everybody's like blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It's just like overwhelming sometimes, but I mean, yeah. no one does anything I, wrong. I, I just, <laughs> and I also yeah. wanted to talk to you about um, after the meet, like what my goals are and stuff like that, but we can talk about that like Saturday or something. Focus on the meat for okay. now, but I know we had talked while you were you were here, but um, you know if it's more uh, along the lines of that, then that's fine too. I don't want to like be in a deficit until maybe like like start like a cut maybe like April May like probably around then. I'm still feeling like I want to like look a little better, so I'm kind of just hoping like some new training stimulus and like maybe like a little bit more cardio will do that. But I don't want to like eat less. I want to like build my metabolism. But I don't want to like. Okay. I don't want to like do anything drastic where I'm like trying to cut and diet. I just like want to feel a little bit better, you know. So I'm thinking some like new training would uh 
would help with that, I guess. I don't know. Well, there's, uh, I mean, obviously there's a lot of different ways to train. I mean, creating a stimulus, I mean, almost to where, for example, like today I did something that's all, that was almost like doing cardio, but I was weight training at the same time. Yeah, like I want to do some uh, more stuff like that. that. More like high intensity intervals. So I know what your maxes are right now, but I don't want you to be married to those numbers. Right. That's, yeah, that's you totally fine I mean? with me. Like, I want you to go in there and I just want you to feel your best, you know, go nine for nine. The amount of weight that I picked for your openers, um, you know, that should be a weight that ideally you should probably be able to hit for like a triple on a good right, day. Right, exactly. You know. Sam, he's really strong. Watch him. Let's go, Sam. Check out that form, though. Yeah. Good job, Sam. Feels so bad today. You're competing next weekend too, right? Uh, yeah. Different uh, meat than me. Yay! Yeah. Sam's strong AF. It's all humble and shit. He's like, no. I just, I just, I just have really long arms. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the only thing I'm good that's at. That's why you're a good. That's the only thing I'm good at is having long arms. <laughs> 
All right, guys, you see me here doing sets of eight for everything. So you might be wondering why the heck is my coach having me do sets of eight so close to a meet? Like, what is he doing? And I'm going to just tell you guys that he does know what he's doing. He's not stupid. So today I'm only doing bench and um, deadlift here. So I'm doing three sets of eight for everything. And this is at my 73% of my one rep max, guys. So this is supposed to be something that's decently easy for me. Um, the whole goal here is to just work on my form and practice my technique and make sure that each rep is going to be like a competition rep. So in the deadlifts, I actually kind of forgot that I was supposed to be resetting every single rep, but by the end I remembered. Um, I want to practice my form as much as possible, and by doing more reps at a lower weight, it just helps me practice a little bit. And this did feel kind of heavy for me only because I'm at my like peak for my meat, guys. So with all the training that I've been doing, my body's just really taking a beating, but that's normal. It's supposed to happen. I talked to my coach about it, and this happens for people when they a peak for a powerlifting meet. So. so the week before your taper week, which is like what I'm in now, you guys are watching this on Tuesday, January 17th. So that's what I'm in now. But this was on Friday. And um, this was like the very, very end of my hard, hardest week of my prep. So this actually was it did feel decently, uh, <laughs> decently heavy. And it was really discouraging. But talking to Sam today, too, like he's competing in um, a meet on the same day. It's not the same meet, unfortunately. But he said that he's feeling the same exact way. And a lot of you guys have commented who have done powerlifting meets in the past that made me feel better about it because it's apparently supposed to be happening. So um, this is normal and this upcoming week is going to be a taper week, which means I'm lowering my volume. So I'm very excited about it. And um, I'll let you guys watch the rest of the workout footage today and enjoy the end of the video because I get fixed. I'll show you guys what that means at the end of the video. How I'm feeling in between sets is this terrible. Sam is too. Sam is too. We're dying. Heavy doubles. But, uh, With 495. I mean, it's, it's supposed to be like. You're so embarrassed. Nobody else knows how weak we are right now. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We don't have days like that. And when you're like peaking for a meet, you know, you get fatigued. So, this whole peaking for a meet and getting fatigued thing is new to me. So, now that I'm aware and there's other people that also are fatigued and preparing for their meet, I'm like, okay. I'm gonna title this video Lifting with Strong Asian People. Just kidding. The music stops. <laughs> Is your left foot always turned out? 
Yeah. Yeah, so you left it until it turned out, that's what we want to work on. She is surprise, surprise, rotated like everyone else. Yeah. We're all rotated. So you're rotated to the right. To the left, so. Right? If you're naturally rotated, this is actually gonna straighten this leg. That's actually what naturally happens. Right? So if you're you're here like this, and when do you pose? What how do you pose? Do you pose like this? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So then, <laughs> You guys are all the same. So you, 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 you guys are all the same, all yeah. Instagram girls. All your Instagram girls. <laughs> so um, the point is, if you're gonna be rotated like this, it's gonna hyperextend your left knee. So yes, we can work on her knee and that's gonna help her, but the key is how do we get her pelvis to be straight? That's what we're trying to do today. You guys ready for this? I am ready, it. I'm very excited. Let's go do this. I have the idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that ass. Check my ass out, compare my ass. To Amanda Bucci's ass. <laughs> My shit's ten times better. Vinny, what's wrong with me? So right now what we're working on is working on her rib cage. We're opening up her intercostals for breathing. That she looks really funny. I know, that's a funny shot. Yeah, um, especially powerlifting where you have to like hold your breath a lot and like she was just showing me earlier. Um, it's actually really important to make sure that the expansion of the rib cage is, is effortless. You know I mean, the, the more effortless you can make the, the motion of the ocean, you know what I mean? Yes. Uh, the better you're going to be lifting, right? And Vinny, while he's like working on me, I'm going to talk to you guys. Vinny, his work is a combination between massage, chiro, and physical therapy. Is that a good shot or is that fucked up? Kelvin, thank you, Kelvin. <laughs> Nobody really does that and anytime somebody asks me what they should do if they have an injury or if something feels wrong in their squat, bench and deadlift, or their like form doesn't feel right, I always like to suggest to either go to a physical therapist, get a massage, or go to a chiropractor and he's like the only one doing all three and it's a hybrid. So um, he's coming to LA. He is locations in Toronto. If you guys are in Toronto, look him up. But he's opening a place here in LA, so super excited about that. And if she wins everything on her lift next week, I take 15%. <laughs> I take full credit. All the credit goes to me. I think I probably add 10 pounds to my, 10 or 20 pounds to my total because of this right Yes. As you guys can see from the before and after pictures, I'm standing up a little straighter, my joints are stacked a little bit better, and the most important part is that I feel a thousand times better. So make sure you guys check out Myo Detox. They have a YouTube channel, and check them out on Instagram. They are based in Toronto, but are opening up in LA, so make sure you guys check them out. No, apparently. You wear glasses and you hide under your yeah. hoodie. Let me tell you. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not regularly yeah, starstruck, but when Matt Ogus was like, yo, make Oh, sense. I saw that on your Snapchat. Congrats. Good for you. When, All right, Amanda. What numbers are you going to hit? Month. Um, oh, I don't know. Go ahead. You're probably stronger than most squat. of these guys watching. 250 squat. Ooh. Four, wow. Four, My best buddy. Most iconic photo of 2017 about to go down right now. Come on, Craig, you're in it. I want to take my shirt off next to Matt Ogus with his shirt off. All right, I found these two. I met them at Barbell Brigade, and they're Megan's friends, so they must be cool. Say your name. My name's John, or Obese Beast. And? My name's Craig, and I'm like Team Richard. And you're from what? I'm from the UK. I'm Team Richard. UK? <laughs> I'm really sorry. This is like the funniest thing in the world back there. Anyways, go check these three These are my folks most out. famous friends. Amanda Bucci, John, and Craig. Yeah. Links will be in the description box, guys. And then there's Jen. Hello. Hello, hello, oh hi! Why is so far, right? Oh, you're so cute! Oh, no, no, he's so oh, cute. No, oh, no. no, you had the cutest picture, hold yeah. on. You like, are the cutest! Oh, oh. You literally, I felt him like lean back into me. He was just like. Hi. Hi, buddy. Oh. Oh, you're so cute. Sam is like dying at the so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> I love dogs. I love dogs. I, I really want one. I want a dog. I want a dog. I